Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I get a full coverage foundation look using only powder foundation. This video is in partnership with Sephora to share with you guys how to find the perfect foundation for you. So anytime people ask me that question, what foundation should I try? I'm like, girl, there's so many different options. I don't even know how to narrow it down for you. But usually the questions that I ask them is like, what kind of coverage do you need? What kind of finish do you like? Um, and like, do you want a cream? Do you want a liquid? Do you want a powder? What do you need, sis? Like, what do you like? I just want you guys to know that Sephora actually has a tool for that. It's called the Foundation Finder Quiz. You can take this quiz on the app or online, and basically it just goes through all of those details for you. Basically, what kind of formula you need. Do you want full coverage? Do you want medium coverage, light coverage, matte? radiant satiny finish do you want a liquid do you want a cream how do you like to apply your foundations are you an on the go type person or you are you a sit down for two hours and do your makeup type person like what kind of person are you and what do you need sephora makes it very easy for you to do that i'll put a link down in the description box to where you can find that foundation finder quiz you can take the results you can either surf through online to figure out what you like or you can go to the store and get a sample which is what i always recommend go to the store and get samples y'all like it is so easy to get a sample. You can take the foundation home with you without buying it. You just try all of them. Try every single one. Try, the world is your oyster, sis. Go back to the store, buy it, boom, bam. Then you don't have to end up with 8,000 foundations on your desk. That makes it much more easy for you so that you don't have to spend your whole life in the store. And then when you do go to the store, get shade matched. You can get the color IQ done. On the Sephora app, you can, whatever foundation you wanna try, you could just click um, find your shade and it'll use the color IQ to find the shade in any foundation that you need That's what I do. I do it all the time anytime. I'm looking for a foundation online I definitely use the tools that Sephora has it's super helpful Sephora has made it so easy for you to find what you need that you really don't even have to ask me or anybody else Okay, you can do it all in the comfort of your own home I just want to let you guys know that because it really is easy to find your foundation like the perfect foundation for you and You guys want to know what type of girl I am and why I like the foundation. That I'm going to be using today um, I'm an on the go type girl even though I do like to sit down and do my makeup and talk to you guys for hours on Instagram live or whatever uh, I do majority of the time when I'm wearing makeup I do like a quick beat I want to be beat I want to look like this but I want it to be quick and I want it to be easy and I want it to be lightweight I don't want to feel like I have makeup on all day I don't want to have to worry about creasing and oiliness and all of that when I'm out and about throughout the day I don't want to look like I have makeup on even though I have makeup on I don't want to look like I have makeup on like, I want to be full coverage but I want it to look like my skin. I want to be able to touch my face and not have a ton of makeup on my skin. So the best way for me to get that is to use powder. This is the Sephora Collection Powder Foundation. It's buildable, so I can wear this every single day for a natural look, or I can build it up to a look like this that is a full coverage look. I'm gonna show you guys how I got this look using just this powder foundation. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys just a really simple makeup routine that's really fresh and light and airy for the springtime using only powder foundation. I know a lot of times I'm reviewing like liquid foundations, cream foundations, stick foundations. I never really talk about powder foundations. I don't know why, but I do use powder foundations on a regular basis. In fact, most days when I don't wear a lot of makeup, I do tend to wear just powder and a few other products. So I wanted to share with you guys that routine that I do using a new powder foundation that I'm trying from Sephora. This is the Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in the shade 56 Toffee Caramel. And this foundation is from the Sephora collection. It is available only at Sephora. I really like it. I've tried it a couple times. There are many different ways that you can apply a powder foundation. Some people just apply it with a brush. Some people apply it with a sponge. It depends on the type of coverage you want. I already have my skin moisturized and I'm going to prime really quickly um, with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And it's just gonna help my makeup to stay on my face longer. With powder foundations, you typically don't have to worry too much about it getting like oily and all of that because typically a powder foundation is going to help absorb some of that oil. Most powder foundations give you a mattifying effect anyways. So I do go for a little bit more of a hydrating primer, um, but you can use whatever primer you prefer. You can do it backwards or forwards. So you can do your concealing and stuff first, or you can do your powder first and then conceal and stuff on top. I'm going to do the powder first, conceal and stuff on top, and then put more powder on to get like the maximum coverage. There is a sponge in here that you can use. I prefer to only use these for touch-ups. And I like to use a really flat brush that will pack on a lot of product. 
you can use it's dirty but you can use like a face and body brush like this I love this one from Fenty um, and I'm going to just take my powder just swirl that onto my skin now that I have my foundation applied that's just with one coat as you can see my skin already looks really smooth and like matte. You can barely see my dark spots. You can still see the burn mark on my forehead and everything, but one of my favorite concealers I like to use is the NARS, and this is the soft matte concealer in the color Amande. And in the summertime, this is like my go-to concealer for just getting rid of like little pesky spots that foundation doesn't cover up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a concealer brush and I'm just going to apply that to the areas that need a little more coverage. So right here, we need a little more coverage. And as you can see, that just covered that right on up. So I'm just gonna conceal a little bit using uh, the Cover FX Power Play Concealer just under my eyes, just to give a little bit of a highlight. Then after that, I'm going to go in with um, powder again, and I'm just going to set that with my powder. Then I'm going to use the Arch Brow by Hourglass, and this is just to help, you know, give my eyebrows a little bit of a lift. And then I'm going to go on top of that with the Kush Brow Gel, the Kush Brow Gel by Milk Makeup, which will just help my eyebrows to stay put. All day. I'm going to bronze with the Hoola Bronzer in the color Caramel, just to give my face a little bit of definition and a bit of a bronze as well. Next, we're going to highlight the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the color Rum. Because it's springtime and I don't wanna to be too golden, I'm also gonna use uh, What A Brat by Fenty as well, just to give a little bit of a pink shimmer. Typically for everyday looks, I only do just a little bit of brown lip liner and a gloss. So I'm gonna use the Fussy Fenty Gloss Balm. I'm gonna apply the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. My favorite type of makeup is simple, easy, quick. Don't have to do a whole lot. Doesn't feel like a lot on my face. And skipping foundation is the easiest way to do that. I feel like I have nothing on my face right now. Like my face is breathable, it's touchable. You also kind of minimize the amount of transfer when you only have on found powder foundation and not like three layers of liquid and powder. It's just an easier way to get a full coverage look without having to sacrifice completeness of a makeup look. If you guys needed a good powder foundation to try, this one is a good one. They have a lot of different shades and it's only 20 bucks. So I hope that that was helpful for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you need anything else, all the links to everything I use in this video will be in the description box, as well as more information about Sephora and how to find the perfect foundation for you. So that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys soon.